morning guys this is Sumaya welcome back to my youtube channel in this video we are going to learn how to make curved walls so this was a question we received on my youtube channel so I made this video on how to make suspended ceiling in dialog zero and add curve light to it so for this video we received a reply from Mr. Santaram Okay, so he is asked, ma'am, please create the video for curved walls and ceiling types. Okay, so curved walls, I am making the tutorial, but uh, ceiling types, okay, uh, I don't know what type of ceiling types you are talking because already I made a simple ceiling with outer curve, okay, maybe you are talking about inner curve or maybe some complex ceiling structure. So, uh, whatever type you are asking me please uh, send me an image of that one okay the ceiling uh, i will try to make the video on it so guys whenever you are asking me any question uh, it will be a very helpful if you um, if you send me an image reference image of that thing okay uh, you can ping me here on youtube or you i have social media accounts on instagram linkedin okay you can even send me there okay so that i can i have a clear idea and i will try to answer your queries so santaram please send me the ceiling type images and i will make the tutorial for it so let's go back to the dialogues and i have made the simple residential project which is which has so many curved walls i will show you in the story mode I'll make my cat file visible so this is my living room which has a very nice curved wall with the walls with the windows in it this is the main foyer area this is a kitchen area this is some space out here is WC and this is a bedroom I think you can see the CAD file, furniture positions, I have not placed the furniture position in Rilux because I wanted to explain you guys how to do the curved walls. So whenever you are making any curved walls project, make sure you have a clear AutoCAD file because it is very important to have a AutoCAD file here if you have images or something it's your curved walls may be not accurate so it's always preferred to have a AutoCAD file so let's start it I will just delete this terrain I have made okay Now, so I'll go to the plan view, make our cat file visible. Okay, you can see this is my cat file. Now, the floor element, this one, you can extend it or redraw it. I'm just going to redraw it i'll just just draw polygonal floor element random shaped because i just want to cover this whole both the areas right okay so now we are going to start how to make this curved walls so please watch carefully Select draw new outer counter and draw the outline of this plan. Okay. First we'll just start from here. I will draw my outer wall. So these are straight lines. I can draw it like this only. But then here comes the curved wall. So when it is a curved wall, 
follow the AutoCAD file. How you have to follow is just zoom in, okay, and add point. Click and add point. Click left mouse click to add the point. So, like this, you have to add the point as per the this curve. So, you will be having a nice curved wall. Suppose if you are doing it far, far, adding the point far, far, you can see this is not proper. So, it's better to always add points closely when you are doing a curved wall. It's it gives a smooth finish to your wall. So follow the same and add points. It takes some time but the results are really good. So just have some patience and have you added a point here but you want to delete it just do control Z and it will go one point back and when you're finished close polygon so here my outer walls are ready that is my outer counter let's go and check it in the 3d model so you can see here this. so this is my outer boundary now I'm going to draw the interior walls. If you want to change the story height, you can change it here. I have kept it as 3 meters. You can make it 2.8 or 2.5. Just do the changes here. Go back to the plan view. And now we are going to draw the inner walls. To draw the inner walls, select draw new indoor counter. So, we'll select any, so we'll select any room with the curved wall. I will select this one. So, first I'll start with the straight line. Follow the AutoCAD layout. Then, drop the points and follow the curves of wall and you and when you're finished right mouse click close polygon and you're done we'll go back and check our 3d model here you can see my inner counter is also ready and you can see this wall it has a nice curve in it we'll, we'll check in the story mode this one see this curve suppose you want more curve like the one I have here follow the same just 
start from the straight line of any of any wall and drop the points to follow the wall curve suppose you place the points like this far far and let's place the points far far and check the result We'll just close the polygon go to the 3d model and here you are your curved wall is ready but if you see here some straight lines are appearing and if you add some color you can see this lines crisp lines are appearing right so i don't want that crisp lines to be appear then it is not my smooth curved wall that's why we place points very close to each other now you have already placed the points and you want to adjust the points what you can do is just go zoom in okay Move the cursor near to the inner counter you have drawn. Right mouse click and a dialog box appears. Click on add point and you can see one extra point appeared. So like this also you can do it. Okay. Just zoom into the place where you want to add the point. Right mouse button click add point and you can add this point. Generally uh, after drawing the outer after drawing the counters adding the points is difficult. So it's always better when you are doing in the first place itself have some patience make draw the points as close as possible so that you can have a crisp curved shape like this let me finish off all the rooms So you can see now my 
inner controls are also completed we'll go check in the side view so my inner controls are also completed and in the side view it is looking just like a block because i have not placed any doors and windows to place doors and windows select any doors and window of your choice and just position it So this is it guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you have any queries or any questions related to lighting design or related to dialogues evo or autocad or sketchup you can just you can drop a comment below you can join me on my instagram and linkedin accounts so mr santaram i have Hope I have answered your queries of drawing a curved wall. I hope you found it helpful. And for the ceiling types, please send a reference image because there are so many ceiling types. So this is it guys. Stay tuned to explore more in dialogues with me.